Hello, so I'm making a quick video on um, Ooh La La by The Faces. Um, this is a slightly simplified version. I mean, it's a really simple song anyway. I think the original, um, if you want to play along with the original song, you're going to be playing D and E minor. And then where the middle eight, there's like a little break in there. And I think it adds either a G or C. To be honest, I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to miss it out. The reason I'm missing out is if I play this song as a solo a, a guitar song, an open mic or whatever like that, um, without the other instruments to, to add the lead guitar or the you know the little, the, I think in actual fact it's a kind of piano break that um, Ian McLagan used to put in there. Without that, there's not much point in you putting that middle eight in there. I mean, there is, it's, it's purely down to you. Um, I wouldn't say it's wrong to do that, it's just for me, I don't bother. Um, and it makes it an even easier song if you're a beginner and you're trying to learn. So, D and E minor if you want to do it with the original, um, which would be... That's it for the whole song. However, I do it in G because it suits my voice and I'm going to show you how to do it in G because D and E minor, uh, Rod Stewart uh, does sing quite a high key, and uh, um, or was it Ronnie McLagan singing that? I can't remember now. Whoever it was singing it, uh, it's quite high though. Oh yeah, you know. It's, um, so G is a much more common key that works for most people. And I also wanted to take an opportunity to show you a few different ways that you can mess around with this as well. So the basic chords are going to be simply G and A minor, and it's going to go like this. Poor old Thought he was a bit of man, spoke of women's ways, tribulant, etc, etc, etc. That's all it does. Right the way through, if, as I say, you choose to do what I do, which is miss out that middle bit. Um, you can easily find out the chords online if you decide you want to add the middle bit, it's fine, you know. Now, what I like to do with this song is, if you've got more than one, so G and A minor, uh, sorry, I did sh show you the strumming pattern as well. Um, Kind of boom chucker is what I tend to call it. So if I play that percussively, that strumming pattern I'm going to put separate videos up on. If you're not familiar with chucker chucker and boom chucker, which are perhaps two of the most common uh, strumming patterns for acoustic guitar. I'm going to stick those up uh, on separate videos and spend a bit of time with that whole percussive strumming thing. So look out for that. In the meantime, let's go back to Ooh La La. Uh, boom, chuck -a 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 boom. Now at the end, you might want to add a little something, which is where the drum fill might be. Those little feels and stuff, people get really hit up about, is it an up, down, 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 up, and, and is it a ghost note, and all this sort of shit. Go with your gut instinct. Just think of it as a boom chucker. Once boom chucker becomes boring, you will instinctively add those little bits. Again, I'm going to do a whole video on my theory and that sort of stuff. Um, so don't get hit up on it. You know, just don't, don't get hung up on it, I should say. Just do boom chucker, boom chucker, boom chucker. Get to know it. and other things will find their way in. If your brain is hearing a little fill, you will add that fill. Anyway, uh, let's go back to this idea of using the capo on this song. Um, if you've got two or three guitars playing this song, it can be really nice to have one playing uh, G and A minor, and then uh, on the one on the fifth fret, you can have someone playing D and E minor. <laughs> Say that again. Poor old granddad. Same key. Poor old granddad. You can hear the vocals in exactly the same place. Or I can do it on the seventh fret and do it in C and D minor. Same thing. Poor old granddad. Poor old granddad. Left it all his work. So it's the same thing. Uh, it's still basically in the key of G. It's just alternative ways of playing it. And that's why I thought I'd make this video because. 
it can be quite useful. The one I like to use is the um, uh, third fret, and I'm playing in E, and basically in F sharp minor. Although I do actually modify that slightly because obviously a lot of people don't want the bar chord, but not only that, you get a better flavour chord. Uh, I think it's truer to the original chord if you take that third finger off and put it on the third string. So you need to know what an F sharp minor is, I guess, to be able to get your head around that. Take that finger off, God, it's hard for me to show you there. Take the first bar finger off and put it on the third string. When I was growing up, that was known as the Albatross chord because it features in Albatross by uh, Fleetwood Mac. Um. <laughs> But you can substitute it quite often for an F sharp minor, and just gives you a, a different flavour. It's up to you if it works. So my version of Ooh La La tends to be. Um, Poor old granddad, I left at I love that chord. But you can play whatever you like. Okay. So have a look at those. Um, I might actually see if I can post this. Um, these chord options uh, down below in the information. Uh, so that's all you need, I think, really, for ooh -la -la. It just goes right from the start to the finish on those two chords if you're doing the version that I tend to use. Okay? So good luck with that.